DDM parameters from parts, assemblies and drawings can be transferred to the drawing title block within Pro Engineer using the DDM CAD parameter mapping tool. Custom attributes defined in DDM can also be transferred to the drawing title block. This video guide shows how to modify your drawing formats and templates to display these attributes. From Pro Engineer, open an existing drawing format which we will use as the basis for a new DDM drawing format. If we zoom into the title block, we can see that it is populated with Pro Engineer system parameters. We want to change these for DDM attributes so that they are controlled from DDM. We'll start by editing the drawn by attribute. The DDM attribute name is draw underscore designer. We can continue to edit the attributes until the title block is complete. Note that part attributes can also be transferred to the title block. Now let's turn our attention to the revision history block. The number of change notes passed to the drawing is controlled from the CAD parameter mapping tool. In this case we have provision to record the last three changes. Populate the cells as shown. A complete list of change note attributes is given in the DDM Professional Training Manual or can be seen from the CAD Parameter Mapping tool. In this case the text needs resizing in the revision history block to match the title block so we can do that now. Once all the cells have been populated, we can store our new drawing format. In this case, we're going to rename it DDM underscore A3. Before moving on, we should test the new format to check that it populates correctly. Open an existing model from DDM and create a new drawing. Remember to remove the selection for the default template and then give the drawing a name. Drop a simple view on the drawing and then store to DDM. We must store the drawing before adding the format as the DDM attributes are not available until it has been stored. We can now drop the new format in place and then check that it has been correctly populated. Here we can see that the title block populated correctly. We must now store the drawing to DDM again to update the DDM record with the latest drawing with drawing border added. If we want to avoid this second save we can create a drawing template file with the new format already attached. To do this either replace the drawing format on your existing template files or create a new one. In this case we'll create a new one, so again clear the default template checkbox and give the new template file a name. Select the drawing size and click OK. From the application menu select the drawing template mode. We can now add our drawing format to the new template. Now all the DDM attributes used in the drawing format must be created as drawing parameters so that values exist when the format is dropped onto the drawing. This saves us having to store to DDM before adding the drawing format as we did earlier. Continue adding parameters until all those used on the drawing format have been defined. All of these should be of type string and it's helpful to add a hyphen so that they're visible on the drawing title block. We could now complete the template by adding views and any other items required from the template. 
Once complete, this must be stored to the template directory defined in your configuration file. This new template should be checked as before to make sure that it populates as required. Any attributes in the title block that are not defined as parameters in the template will cause a prompt at the time of drawing creation for the user to add a value. Make a note of these and then add them to the parameters defined in the template to correct the omission.